Hi folks, welcome to Masterclass. This Masterclass is all about getting your camper or caravan parked on site the first time. Some of the sites on caravan parks these days, especially in the bigger commercial ones, are getting smaller to get more people in and accommodate those wanting to get away on holidays. This can make it difficult if you've got a camper trailer or a caravan with awnings, etc. getting your trailer positioned right the first time so when you set it up you can move freely around the trailer, use all the items on it and get your awning, annex, etc. set up well and maximise the space you have. Well, here's some easy driving tips on how you can get your trailer parked spot on, first time, each time. Now, to make sure I nail this first go, I need to know the dimensions of my trailer and what space I need. So, at the back of the trailer, I know I need two paces of room from the centre of my axle to get the trailer on, make sure I've got room at the back to get round it when I'm setting up, which is simple as two paces. That gives me enough space behind the trailer for setting up, opening window awnings, etc. Also, because we've got a boat rack, I know I need one pace out from the boat rack, from the perimeter of my site. That keeps me in the site and gives me enough room to get round. Some of our models have a solar panel on the boat rack as well. You need to be able to get to that and open your boat rack and move freely. The front, I know I've got plenty of room. And on the other side, I know I have a 2.5 metre annex that extends out from the caravan or the camper. So I need to know I've got 2.5 plus enough room for my tent pegs and ropes. So for me, that's three large paces out from the side of the trailer to ensure I've got the annex up and I've got room to set it up. Now we'll go and have a look at our site and look for any obstacles or problems we want to avoid when we put our trailer in there. So now I'm on my site looking at the lay of the land and the first thing I noticed was overhanging palm fronds. Now, normally you wouldn't think this is a problem, but we all love the sound of the breeze at night through the trees and whatnot. But if this is resting up against the canvas or the boat rack and it's moving back and forward at night, it could actually make enough noise to make it hard for yourself or anyone with you to sleep. It could be a, an annoying noise. And just behind me, I've noticed the site runs off a little bit on a slope. So know now that I'm gonna need a stepped ramp, not a full step ramp, but a small rise underneath the tire just to get my camper nice and level on this side. And something I've noticed on the other side of the site, which means I don't want to set my annex up in that certain position. So come and have a look at what I've seen over here. Looking at the palms down here at almost ground level, I've noticed there's bat droppings. These palm trees have a fruit on them. So there's a large possibility that tonight there's going to be fruit bats come in here, they'll chow down and there'll be droppings left before they leave. I don't want any of my canvas anywhere near this Bat droppings are one of the worst things you can get on the canvas. They'll stain it and it means lots of cleaning up when you get home. So if you can avoid it, do it. So not only look at ground level where you're going to set up your trailer, look above and see what else there is that you need to avoid to make sure you're not doing additional cleaning and maintenance. So now I've worked out my starting point on the site for pacing out where my camp is going to go. I've looked at where the fruit is on the trees and where my starting point is to avoid any of the camper being underneath where the fruit bats may be tonight and where I need to start from in order to avoid these palm fronds rubbing up against the canvas. So I can now pace it out. So I now need two steps for the back of the camper and I know my camper is two steps wide. So I can come across one, two. Now, this is where the axle, the center of the axle needs to be on the left hand side of the trailer. So I've used a bright rag. In this case, you can use anything, a bottle, a marker. Don't use a peg or anything sharp because if you run over it and puncture a tire, well, it's not a good start to your holiday. So I can place that there. And I know if I put the wheel of my camper right here, it's in the right position. And I've got room for my annex on that side as well. So now I simply jump in the car and all going well, I'll back it straight in, first go. 
that's pretty much spot on the money. We're in spot, my boat rack will go up. There'll be nothing that interferes or rubs against the canvas during the night. So I've got enough room here that I can put my awning out and I've cleared the area where the bat droppings will be and I've got heaps of space to extend my awning and get an angle on my ropes and pegs so they do their job properly. Absolutely nailed it. So there you go, folks. There's some great tips so you can nail it first time when you're parking your trailer on site. Things to look out for. You won't have to get the wife or the kids yelling at you. Stop, Dad. Left, right, Dad. All that sort of thing. You'll get it first go on your own. For more great tips like this, go to our YouTube channel and check out the entire masterclass and follow us on Facebook so you can see each of these episodes as they're ready to go up.